Oh, but he's back. He's the man behind the mask. And he's out of control. How good was that song by Alice Cooper, by the way? Um, hey guys, Movie Fan 56 here, continuing my Friday the 13th reviews with Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Um, the plot of this one is, uh, they're kind of ignoring Friday the 13th Part 5 in a new beginning, which, okay, fine. New direction. It's kind of, it's still a continuation from 4. Tommy Jarvis is still fucked up in the head. Um, he's traumatized, and, uh, he wants to, the movie, the movie starts off, basically, and if you guys don't know, if you haven't watched my other Friday the 13th reviews, I'm gonna talk about these movies with spoilers, cause they've been out for a long time, and I think pretty much everybody who wanted to see them saw them. So that being said, there's gonna be spoilers in these reviews. Um, so basically it starts off with Tommy Jarvis wanting to make sure that Jason Voorhees is really dead. Uh, he doesn't want to risk this guy come going back, um, or c coming back. So he goes with his friend, and they're going to dig him up, and, uh, they're going to make sure he's really dead, and it's... The sky, she was stormy that night. I don't know where I was taking that, but I just took it to a very, very dark place. Um... <laughs> But the sky was, it, it, it was storming, and a lightning bolt uh, crashes on uh, Jason Voorhees' corpse, essentially bringing him back to life, which I thought was a cool little homage to Frankenstein's monster. Um, I, I thought that was a cool homage. And now Jason's back, and uh, he lives. Jason lives. And, um, yeah. Uh, that's basically it. Tommy's trying to make sure he warns everybody. Um and trying to stop Jason along the way. That's the plot. Now, what I thought about this film is I love it, actually. It's probably my favorite uh, of not only the sequels, but maybe of the entire franchise. I don't know. One is very, very, very close. The The original Friday the 13th for me is very, very close. I still have a lot of fun with that film. Um, but this one is definitely the best sequel, for sure. Um... The guy in this film, I'm not sure who played him, uh, but he's playing older Tommy Jarvis in, in the film, and I actually liked him. I liked him a lot better than the guy who played him in uh, Part 5. I don't know if that was just, you know, we didn't really see too much Tommy Jarvis in Friday the 13th Part 5, or, uh, you know, the direction that they kind of started to go with him a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I didn't hate him, but I definitely liked the guy who played him in this one a lot better. And... He's going to warn the sheriff, you know, Jason's back. you got to be ready. He's kind of like the Dr. Loomis of Jason Voorhees now. Um, he's out there, sheriff! Uh, I'll, I'll get to all those reviews in October. But, yeah, I, I, I think this is a really fun film. The kills are fantastic. My favorite one is obviously the, uh, the one where he's killing him in the RV. Um, and, and, and the one uh, where... They, uh, there's a couple in the car, and um, she's like, well, let's turn around. And he's like, why? He's like, I've seen enough horror movies to know that guys in masks are never friendly. That was also my second favorite one, but definitely the RV is my favorite kill in the film. And um, I do have one small problem with it, but it's not that big of an issue. Um, so Jason's going back uh, to, to this camp, and there are these kids there. And the teenagers were there to basically look after these kids, like camp counselors, basically. And he goes to this cabin where all the kids are, and he's... This girl, this one little girl, she's having nightmares, waking up. She sees Jason, and sure, Jason gets distracted, but he, um, he, he just kind of doesn't kill him. And, which, I guess, okay, either way, it's it was gonna be... You know, people were going to complain e either way because if Jason killed a kid, that would have been frowned upon because, okay, you can kill naked teenagers having sex, but don't kill kids, man. Don't kill kids. Um, and if he didn't kill them, you're just going to be like, well, why did he even bother going in there, checking the place out, if he wasn't even going to bother to do anything about it? Is, is this making any sense to, uh, to you guys at all? Um... So, yeah, uh, let's talk about another main character of the film, the sheriff's daughter. Um, 
she basically she meets Tommy Jarvis in uh she meets Tommy in uh the jail cell. Uh you know, the sheriff locks him up and she she meets him there and she's kind of falling for him. It's like, "Okay, which, you know, Tommy's not in, in the wrong here. Tommy's right. Jason's out there. He's a bad guy. He's not the one, you know, Tommy isn't the one doing this. He's right, but how would she know? Either way, he's in a fucking jail cell when you meet him. How do you know this guy can be trusted? How do you know he's not crazy, you know? How do you know he's not making all this shit up? That was probably my only complaint with this film, is she kind of fell for Tommy a little too quickly. Um, she's like, you don't even know this guy. I don't know, guys. I Like I said, this is the best one of, of the sequels. And, uh, you know, there's that whole thing where Tommy gets in the boat and he's calling out to Jason. Jason, it's me you want. I'm right here. Come on. Do it. I'm here. Kill me. Come on. Kill me. <laughs> I don't know. Pat Arnold impression. But uh, he, 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 that's essentially what he's doing. He drags Jason, Jason in uh, to the lake and... He sets the lake on fire, like in Freddy vs. Jason, but you gotta keep in mind, Jason lives, did it first, Ronnie Yu. Um, but I'll, I'll talk about Freddy vs. Jason some other time. Um, but yeah, and then he just drowns, he, he drowns Jason Voorhees, this is it, Jason's dead. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is, okay, the acting, it's actually, it's the kind of acting for Friday the 13th, but it's a little bit better. It's better act. It's probably the best acted Friday the Thirteenth movie we have, um, in, in in my opinion. I don't know. There's a couple I might have to rewatch for my review that I really don't want to, but I'm going to because I love you. Um, but yeah, th th this movie was so much fun. I have fun with it. It's the best of the sequels. It's the best acted. I I already said this before, but it is the best acted Friday the 13th movie we, we have. Um, it's not just your cheesy, campy, you know, goofy acting. I mean, there is a little bit of that. It's Friday the 13th. It wouldn't be Friday the 13th without it. Um, I already talked about my favorite kill in, in, in the RV, which, by the way, another Alice Cooper song, another homage to uh, Frankenstein's monster, Teenage Frankenstein was playing. That's another thing about this movie. This soundtrack's awesome. I mean, it was that 80s, you know, soundtrack. It made it feel like we were in the 80s. Because you were in the 80s. And I, 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 I like Alice Cooper's music. And uh, Teenage Frankenstein, and of course, he's back, are, are great. They're fucking great. Good God. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say about this film. Like I said, I really like it a lot. Having said all, everything that I've said about it, I know I've repeated some stuff. I talked about my favorite death, talked about the acting, the kills. I talked about my favorite death scene in the movie, the RV, followed by the couple in the car. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I've talked about the basics here. I'm kind of rambling, but this one's my favorite one, and I, I just love it. And I don't know really what to say about this film. That being said, Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. I'm going to give this movie an A-. Um, I think it's fun. And uh, it's definitely my favorite of the sequels. I know I think I gave the same grade to the final chapter. Um, but, you know, this one is my favorite, fav favorite sequel. So, well, guys, that's all I can say for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.